Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring here at, you guessed it, the Halley Tree Roots, just outside of, wrong way, Melania's, uh, boss arena. Still, <laughs> this is officially the longest I've ever spent fighting a boss on my first attempt, and, uh, yeah, we haven't really struggled on this character up until now, no, no, but, uh, here we are, so... Hopefully, some of you are getting some satisfaction out of it. Others are probably pulling your hair out because you could have seen exactly what I could have done. But oh well. <laughs> Here are my stats, level 142. Here's the thing. I'm going to go in right now, as is, not changing a thing, and we're going to give it one attempt. After that, we're going to go find the Dragon Adula, which uh, I was reminded, not even so much reminded, just informed, that the dragon that I ran straight past on top of the Moonlight Altar way back when, when we were finishing up Ronnie's quest, that was the same dragon. So ultimately, you meet Adula in the Three Sisters, right by Celevis, Ronnie's, and Rena's Rise. If you damage that dragon about 50%, the dragon leaves. You would then encounter it later in the Moonlight Altar, whether you've damaged the dragon or not. And that's where you can finish the dragon off and get the sorcery, which apparently is really, really, really good for this fight. But we will see, hopefully, well, actually, no, you know, I hope we don't see. Because I actually hope that we get uh, Melania right here, just in this attempt. Alright, Tisha's already doing just an insane job. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay, we're going to do two attempts. That was a really... Did you see the damage? Oh, Tish. You know, the comments are just full of ideas. And no one's no one's telling me that I'm doing it wrong and this is the only way to do it. But, you know, a lot of people are saying, oh, don't worry about it. Just upgrade Tish to plus 10 and, and she'll basically beat the boss for you. Not my Tish. <laughs> no, she does not. I mean, she's doing phenomenal work, but she's not, uh, she's not soloing, that's for sure. All right, now... Kindly knock her down. That would just be swell. And looks like we just missed with all of those. That's a shame. Okay, it's all right. Good. Now you want to knock her down? Yeah, come at me. Perfect. That's what I want. Tish, you always run in at the wrong time. <laughs> just always. Ah, that that blade that that Tish does. I mean, is that the weapon art that's actually on the Black Knight blade we got? Because that's crazy. Oh, I got lucky. Oh, that's awesome that she got that off just then. I mean, just that. Nope. See, and look, I did it again. That is that's crazy to me that the Flask of Wonders physic procs so often when you're just trying to cycle past it. Oh my gosh. Is she stuck? Because it kind of looks like she's stuck. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Don't actually kill her yet because I wanted to top off. That's perfect. Oh my gosh, that was the perfect ending. I am, I am completely full. So now we can, hopefully. Oh, don't stand in it. Okay, that was amazing. Okay, back up, back up, back up. Oh, no, no, no. Good, good. Oh my gosh, she's down, she's down. Oh, no way, no way. Your ah. strength, <laughs> extraordinary. You're kidding. The mark of a true lord. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Melania's great oh, rune. Dear Mikola. And remembrance of the oh, rock goddess. Dearest Mikola. My brother. I'm sorry. I finally met my match. Yeah, the match was Tish, not me. <laughs> oh, I'm so disappointed that Tish actually got the last hit 
but holy cow, what? 624,000 runes? <laughs> oh, my. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. That was just amazing. Oh my gosh. And can I just say, I wasn't frustrated at, oh, okay. Uh, that was fun. I honestly and truly enjoyed that, and I can't wait to learn that as a uh, melee. We're up to 35 Vigor, and I have another point to spend. What do I want to do? I'm going to do Dexterity. Why? I don't know. Holy cow, that was awesome. So, let's take a look before we investigate what's going on here. Let's take a look at her great rune. Seek the isolated divine tower. Okay, we know where that is. We actually have a set of grace there, I believe. Perfect. And then we also need to check out her remembrance. Mikola and Melania are both the children of a single god, which makes sense because we know Radigan is Merica, Merica is Radigan, they're one and the same, and yet they were able to conceive. As such, they are both Empyreans, but suffered afflictions from birth. So is an Empyrean in Elden Ring lore a child born of a single god, a single parent? But suffered afflictions from birth. One was cursed with eternal childhood, we know that to be Mikola, and the other harbored rot within, which of course was Melania. Holy cow! That was, uh, that was something. Can I get, like, in this? I mean, this is cool. But why is it here? Can't destroy it. Hmm. What about Millicent? Is Millicent hanging out anywhere? I'm not sure. What if we go back to the prayer room? See if she's there. No, she is not. I wonder if I should return to where I helped her fight her sisters? I'm going to check a couple of the Sites of Grace just because I, I feel like Millicent has to be nearby. I would hope, right? Alright, well since I'm here, I still have 70,000 runes on me, that's kind of crazy. Oh, I can't believe how well that strategy finally worked. Same strategy, by the way, but the frostbite is just so, so stinking powerful. Oh, man. That was fun. Thank you, Tish. Thank you, Tish. Okay. <laughs> do what you do best. Um, is that... Oh, no. That looks like an injured Millicent. You know, I don't think I ever checked here after after I helped her, right? Maybe I should have. I wonder... Oh, please don't be dead. Okay, I can talk to her. Oh. Hello. Thank you for lending your hand. Without your help, I could not have defeated that quartet. I feel as if I've been in your debt from beginning to end. Thank you. With your help, I was able to live as my own person. If only in passing. But this is where things end. I pause to even tell you, but I took out the needle myself. Tell whoever put you up to this that if I am to flower into something other than myself. I would rather rot into nothingness as I am. So in other words, I have to go back and tell Gowry. She took the needle out herself. Is that what she meant to return to Melania? Is the needle? Right? Because she said that she had to bring something to Melania, and if the unalloyed gold needle that we got a long time ago was meant to cure the rot within which obviously hasn't fully worked. Is it possible that Millicent was trying to cure Melania? Please, let me pass alone. 
the scarlet rot writhes now. Worse than ever. Soon, I won't be more than a mound of flesh, curse-laden. Untouchable. I wouldn't want such a thing to bring you harm. I wish there was a way that I could, I could choose to stay with her. I know that she's insistent, but I don't know. Big fan of the idea that no one, no one deserves to pass on alone. Please, the Scarlet soon curse laid. I wouldn't once. Well, I guess I have to refresh the area and then. No, oh, she's gonna be gone. Well, I'm just gonna do the the easier thing and just quit out. Once again, another another well written NPC who's just gonna meet meet such an unfitting end. And sure enough, and there's the gold needle, and she's just sitting there rotting away. Does it have any new, any new text? Yep, an intricately crafted needle of unalloyed gold, removed by Millicent from her flesh, bears no trace of befouled blood, but is faintly moist with dew. There's something must return to Melania, the dignity, the sense of self that allowed her to resist the call of the Scarlet Rod. Oh gosh, was I supposed to do was I supposed to do that before I killed Melania? Does that matter? I'm gonna go and talk to Gowrie, but first I wonder do I need to do something with this? Oh, I do. Okay. Return the unalloyed gold needle. Oh, and we got Mikola's needle and a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. All right, so what's Mikola's needle? Um, I don't see it in key items. That's because it's not, is it? Actually, in tools? It is. Subdues a once accepted frenzied flame. I was told. I was told that if I followed Millicent's quest line, I would eventually find a way to reverse my decision to touch the frenzied door. And it seems like I've just gotten the item. One of the unalloyed gold needles that Mikola crafted to ward away the meddling of outer gods. Okay, so in that respect then, it seems like the three fingers would be considered an outer god, right? Because if the flaming, the frenzied three fingers that grabbed me, gave me that burning hug, and thus locked me into the, the, the frenzy flame ending, I mean, they are the ones who, who gave me this affliction, and it says the item effect subdues a once accepted frenzy flame capable of subduing the flame of frenzy if inherited allowing one to cheat fate and avoid becoming lord of frenzy flame which i do want oh however the needle is yet unfinished and can only be used in the heart of the storm beyond time said to be found in faram azula we we've been to the crumbling faram azula when we traveled through the four one of the four belfries and we only got a glimpse a crumbling city in the sky with tornadoes everywhere uh, and we had some beastmen or some beast clergymen there. I, I guess just beastmen. So yeah, can't do anything with it yet. All right, so we have to wait till we get to Faram or Azula, and then we can actually get rid of it. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, question, and please, please, please don't judge, but why can't we get the prosthetic back? Huh? I mean, hear me out. It worked for Sekiro. On that really morbid note, let's go down to Caleb, because I want to head to Sage Gallery. So we'll just head to the heart of Aonia, travel east, go to the Sage Gallery. Oh gosh, what are we going to do then? Well, I still want to go kill that one dragon. And we might actually kind of take a break from progression to do some, some side activities. Even though quest lines, I think, were pretty much caught up. We do have a number of other enemies that we still need to kill. Um, I'm being told that every major area has at least two nighttime bosses. 
So like your Night Birds, your Night Calvary, or your uh, Death Birds, your Night Calvary. Then also you do have some of the Bell Bearing Hunters that we need to track down. So we might be doing some of that. Oh, I just one shot the T-Rex dog. <laughs> uh. You look, you look pained. Is it because I helped kill several of your daughters and then watched your other one die? That, I said that with such glibness. Oh, Millicent, my daughter, why would you take out the needle? You were so close, so very close to becoming the fairest of all flowers. Would you disown us too, as your mother did? We children of the Scarlet Rot. Is it possible that Melania was their mother? Was that ever explicitly said? Millicent, Melania, do you detest us so utterly? That kind of makes it sound like it, huh? Millicent, Melania, do you detest? All right, and he is out of things to say. I'm gonna quit out again and see if perhaps he has anything to say. I don't think I actually showed my stats, by the way, but you've seen him now a few times between leveling up and also quitting out. And he saw my playtime. And no, he's still here, still kicking. Melissa okay. Malen, do you detest? Thought maybe he would. Uh, he he would move along, and uh, give me something. Right. Well, let's head back to the Table of Lost Grace. And someone also pointed out I haven't actually talked to the finger reader ever since I accepted the Frenzy Flame, so they might have something to say. They might be kind of mad. In fact, no, can't interact directly with the two fingers. <sighs> That's interesting. Disappointing, honestly. They should be able to look at my eyes and say, whoa, 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 hey, hey. What are you doing? Touching the three fingers and all. All right, what do we got? So we got the Hand of Melania. It's a katana with Waterfowl Dance. So that's the name of that crazy move. Blade built into Melania's prosthetic arm. Through consecration, it is resistant to rot. How am I supposed to use it if I don't have a prosthetic arm? Although I, do, I know where to get one. Melania's war prosthesis symbolized her victories. Some claim to have seen wings when the weapon was raised aloft, wings of fierce determination that have never known defeat. Well, you know, never knew defeat. How about little past tense? Waterfowl dance perform a series of one-footed leaps in the manner of a waterfowl. Waterfowls don't tend to leap around on one foot from my ornithological understanding. To unleash a swift yet graceful slashing combo, repeated inputs allow for up to two follow-up attacks, or Scarlet Aeonia. 35 faith, three slots, creates a gigantic flower that blooms into an explosion of Scarlet Rot. Each time the Scarlet Flower blooms, Melania's Rot advances. It has bloomed twice already. With the third bloom, she will become a true goddess. Is that... That's who I just fought, right? Because she was actually known as Melania, Goddess of Rot? I mean, I kind of want this. You can always duplicate the others anyway. Ah, uh, did we ever? We looked at these. We did. Yeah. I want to do this because I can actually use that. That might be fun to just try. And then, of course, the Lich Dragon. I can't use either of these. But let's go. Um, yeah, we'll go with the Death Lightning. Why not? Like I said, I can always just. Uh, ooh, we have some new ones to play with. I, I can always um, duplicate some. So look at this, Melania's winged helm. Oh my goodness, you know, I almost had this. I actually had the premium collector's edition ordered and then unfortunately Bandai Namco, even though they've treated me very, very well after, <laughs> they, um, yeah, they canceled my pre-order. I was extremely bummed. My brother will keep his promise. He possesses the wisdom, the allure of a god. He is the most fearsome Empyrean of all. He's also lifeless was he kidnapped by Moog I want it and then we have the Briar Helm uh, Royal Knight Helm oh, okay so this is from Loretta Loretta once a royal carrion knight went on a journey in search of a haven for Albinorix and determined that the Halley Tree was their best chance for eventual salvation uh, oh wow and then we also have Neil we fought him quite a while ago 
Leo was a lone survivor who commanded spirits to defend his long past master. This aging general could not die, nor did he have anywhere to fade away to. Or fade away, I guess it's just all it is. Milady's armor is pretty cool. At the foot of the husk, is that what this says? It does say at the foot of the husk. That might actually work really well. That royal knight is a good looking piece of armor too. Okay. Well, you know what? Honestly, I just kind of want to start buying all these anyway. So I'm just going to buy whatever I can. There we go. Make sure we tap that out before. Wow. Okay. Uh, so, Sir Gideon should probably have something to tell me, right? Right? Uh, but first... Um, I do like it. I don't think I love it. No, definitely not. Maybe I'd like it with a different helm, though. Like this one. No, obviously not. Um, yeah, what could work? To be honest, I don't hate it. Little too much clavicle showing for my likings, you know. <laughs> That's silly. Uh, <laughs> really highlights my mustache nicely. Ah, uh, kinda, kinda maybe. I don't like the gauntlets with it. Anyway, I'll play around with that another time. Yeah, I don't know. It does look very dress-like, and not that I'm against wearing dresses, but I don't think it looks very wizardy. Mm. Okay, hey, about the helitry roots. So, the helitry. Now, Butter Husk. I heard speculation Nicola embedded himself in the helitry, but before he could finish, someone cut the tree open and absconded with his infant form. Indeed. It seems those words held weight. How vexing. That the all-knowing didn't have the full story. Perhaps the Queen's sorrow was justified. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you've shared is of great value. As promised, your reward. A secret right. You are a true fellow. Lord's Divine Fortificate? Stop it. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Alright, so we got a new incantation that we'll never ever use. Greatly increases holy damage negation, including allies. Gideon gained true knowledge after his long exchange with the two fingers, discovering all had been broken long ago. That the trembling fingers bent with age and the earth tree itself were no exception. Okay. <laughs> Alright. It is what it is. Uh, yeah, so Mikola had given himself up to the Halig tree in order that it would flourish. But while he was still in his infant form, which apparently he was cursed to always be a child, Moog absconded with him, which is just always fun to hear the word abscond. You don't hear it enough. And whether that was due to a desire or lust for power or if it was actually some sort of infatuation or love that Moog held for Mikola, I don't know. But because Moog stole Mikola, uh, unfortunately, the Halley Tree, or fortunately, depending on, I guess, how you're looking at the story here, uh, the Halley Tree died. And it was nothing more uh, than a husk. Just a poor husk. Just looking around to see if anything else has changed here, but I am starting to guess that we've seen most of the changes here that we are going to see. Right, so, what else are we going to do? Well, I think... I think it's time that we go to the isolated divine. I don't have a sight of grace there. Oh, sugar. Where did I? How did I get there? How did I get there? There's a sending gate. Oh, I think the sending gate was on the divine bridge, right? Maybe. I think so. I think so. I think that's what it was. I think it was the Divine Bridge. 
that we originally got to by visiting or opening a trap chest in Kalid up on the return tower. And then this sending gate wasn't active at the time. And then, of course, we got here just exploring the wonderful Landell. And I think this might take us to the isolate. I hope it is. If not, I might have to look it up just because I know I've been there. And I simply don't remember. Is this it? Yes. Okay, good. So what do we get with Melania's Grape Rune? My goodness, I can't believe how easy that last attempt was. And I'm not saying that fight is easy by any stretch, even for just a lowly caster like me. Yeah, I'm just not digging this. But I kind of want to wear it just because I killed her. <laughs> is that ter The cape is awesome. That cape is super cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine circles around the Halleck tree, and I wonder what those could possibly represent. Because they're almost decorated like they're fruits of the Halleck tree. Children are often depicted as fruits, and if... If Melania was the mother to Millicent, and Millicent had, I guess, four sisters? I thought she only had three. That would be five, but that also... That also leaves four. I want to look at the map real quick and just see... We look at here how many one two three four five no if we count full circles one two three four five six seven eight that's way more so what do these represent why can't we go to them unless we can and i totally missed it i don't think so though i'm sure there's more to the halley tree we haven't explored and i think there's at least one area i remember not either dropping down to or all right oh look at that you can actually see for oh that's where i need to get to finish the needle okay i understand you know low textures yada 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 but still that's where we're going that's probably where we finish isn't it i bet it is oh we're getting close we are getting close. There it is, Melanie's great rune. Also, I kind of forgot I could have used a rune arc. I have seven of them. I totally forgot about the great runes. I don't know what just happened to my voice here, but I did. I forgot. So Melania's great rune, which is opposite of Radon's. Is that because they were in conflict? Right? Because wouldn't those be opposed to each other in the actual Elden Ring symbol itself? Morgoth right down the center. Moog kind of overlaying. Radon and Melania opposite. I don't know. Okay. Uh, attacks recover HP after damage. After damage is taken. The blessing of this half-rotted rune. Oh, it does look like it's all rotted. That's Oh, and they're... Oh, there's flowers and there's butterflies in it that's so cool the detail is just fantastic look at Rikards with his his flame his magma Radon also with some flame I guess maybe that's representing his his meteors I'm not sure Morgoths are flame Moog's is blood flame oh it's cool anyway blessing of this half rod groom reduces the healing power Oh, of the Flask of Crimson Tears. So you don't heal so much from actual healing, you actually heal from attacking. And yet, due to the infusion of Melania's Spirit of Resistance, attacks made immediately after receiving damage will partially recover HP. Melania is daughter to Queen Merica and Radigan, and her great rune should have been the most sacred of all. Wow. Oh, man. I mean, where... Oh. Soon we have to just do this, and we have this area, and we have whatever that is, and then somehow we have to get to the magical floating tornado sky the island. Floating tornado sky island. Good thing there wasn't any redundancy there. Uh, so what are we going to do now? We have just a minute left. I'm going to go kill Adula. But then I think next time we need to check out this mine to get some more upgrade materials, and I think we're going to make that kind of like a like a bottle episode, if you will, where we just go and kill 
some extra enemies, bell bearing hunters, look for some death birds and the like. So let's go to the Cathedral of Manus Celis. Put on some more appropriate dragon slaying spells. Or at least spell. So let's do, I wanna get Night Maiden's Mist on there because it works so well against dragons as we've seen. Which I never remember where it is. Oh, there's also Fia's Mist, right, I forgot about that. There it is, Night Green's Mist. Good, good, and I can ride Torrent, yes. The dragon should be out here hanging out. Maybe. Maybe not. Whoa! Well, that was silly. What just happened? And, alright. T, she's already just doing, doing her thing. Oh, this is just going fantastic. I would like to get... Whoa, 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 boy. I thought T should die, but no, I think she killed a sheep. Oh, this is fine. That's fine. Come on. All right, I'm going to go in with another... Oh, quick, 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 quick. Don't stand in it, Blue. That's the dragon job. Uh, yep, there's a nice big ice. All right, and then great glintstone. Okay, go to the side. Oh, right, right, right. No, no, don't. You gotta keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Quick, 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 quick. Uh-oh. Whoa. Okay, so... Torrent's dead? <laughs> Wow, that was... What are you doing? Uh, oh, so that... Golly! Well, no wonder you're so resistant to frost. <laughs> I thought you were just magic. Okay, back up. Oh, I did not mean that. I meant to do FP. Go, 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 go. Okay, back up, back up. You're fine, you're fine. Um. Uh, okay, still fine. Move, 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 move. Oh, yeah, we're good, we're good. There we go. Teach once again. Kill, steal, and summon. <laughs> I'm not even mad. Oh, 120,000? Dragon Heart times three and a Duelist Moonblade. That's what we were looking for. Granted, that's what we were looking for for a fight we've now finished. <laughs> but yeah, apparently this sorcery is pretty cool. No pun intended. Uh, no, just kidding. Pun totally intended. S okay, Sweeping Slash swallowed by Cold Blade Projectile. Conjures a Cold Magic Greatsword, then delivers a sweeping blow that launches a blade-like projectile of frost. Sorcery can be cast repeatedly. A Duelist, a Devourer of Sorcerers was bested by Ronnie and subsequently swore a knightly oath to her dark moon. All right, so for things weak to frost, this should do pretty good. I do want to see it in action before we wrap up here. Do I even, we don't even have enough to level. <laughs> I might actually just go and buy the rest of the armor at that point. So where is Medulla's... Uh, Medulla's... Medulla Oblongata. Medulla's Moonblade. Ooh. And that's not even that expensive. So when we cast repeatedly... You're not kidding. Look at that. Can we charge? I, I wasn't sure if it said it could be charged. It doesn't feel like it. All right. Excellent. Well... Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for putting up through my numerous Melania attempts... That felt really good, that last one. Felt like I understood that fight a lot better. Finally, it's about time. Next time, we are just going to, uh, yeah, kind of do a bottle episode. Like I said, we're going to do that one mine. 
that's up in the consecrated snowfield and uh, if we have time we'll be killing some side bosses some nighttime bosses just uh, around the world before we eventually make our way back to the mountaintop of the giants but thanks so much for watching and i will see you next time